Welcome to the following presentation of the Dozen Trivia by Barstool Sports. Is Carl. it Crime Dog, Fred and Griffin? Jesus, how in the hell? The winners of the Dozen yes. are turning into big screaming hoggers. Yeah, boys! Yeah, boys! Yeah, the movie's called Get <laughs> Ponies pulling up. All right, it's the dozen match. 63 of season four, match 399 overall. Match 400 of the dozen will be on Sunday. Sunday afternoon, don't want to get in the way of college basketball, the tournament, whatever you're watching. Um, crazy. 400 matches. Um, we have one of the oldest teams, former champions tonight. Uptown Balls, 5-2-1. and one, Fresh off uh, their worst match of the season. They took on Dave, Eddie, and Clem. ZD remains number one. The Ice Dogs, though. 3-5-0. and oh. yep. Took on Flux. Uh, Flux has an opening, by the way, which we'll talk about at some point whenever they fill it. Chris Castellani no longer with Barstool, so they have an opening. When they fill that slot, we'll figure out who it is. But 3-5-0, and crazy win, a slumdog millionaire-esque win in some spots. Uh, and they're back in the 12th spot. They're ranked 12th. They're back in the playoffs. The season That's ended today. So I'm that was. <laughs> That's so um, big. Uptown Ball's drop, but back. just a five. People still respect the Uptown Ball season. Glenny remains, despite not a great match last one last time from anybody. Glenny is still the leading scorer in the league right now. Um yeah, above nine points, points a match, which no one's ever scored above nine points a match. Hey, Tao Cruz, we should have had that one last game. <laughs> should have had Tao Cruz. Yeah. Us. Uh, match brought to you by New Hampshire and Vodka and Stella Blue. Uh, Tommy, Smitty, Glenny, Smitty, working Mike. Yeah, tonight? we're good. We're good. And coming off of last week, we need it. Uh, but you said it already, Balls is the MVP of the league. So I want to know why Keithy Yandel's coming at him every week. You will come at the king? <laughs> yeah. Well, all, worth noting. Worth noting, the the rookie of the year race is between the two guys on the screen here for the Ice Dogs. Good, good for the rookies. Um, DA is, is is a little behind Yandel. Yandel's had a bit of a head start, I but you're looking at you're looking at maybe MVP and rookie of the year in the same match right now. Wow, that, that's good Our GM starter. right there. That's a good GM by me. I don't know who I'd rather have rookie of the year because I don't know whose Wikipedia I'd rather see. See DA's where it says like Super Bowls and blow it like. Dozen rookie of the year or Yandels, like there's something, there's there's something. One of those is funnier, and I'm I'm waiting to see, <laughs> see who gets it. Um, but one of them, but Marty, I mean, three five and oh. Three at one at one point three wins would have been craziness, insane. And listen, we're a we're a vibes team. The team across from us right now, they fight at each other's throats. They they yell at each other. They get all on their ass. Like they won one championship and they like forgot. They like Tom Izzo. Like they won in 2000, and he hasn't there's won. There's been one years. season we haven't won mm. since we won a championship. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You forgot how to play. You're and, and you're so wrong on that. We're good vibes. Now that we have our championship, everything is gravy. We've all yeah. yeah. Okay. Marty's gonna go. You guys stink. You guys that stink. doesn't last very long, Glenny. We have. Our- <laughs> you got to keep doing it. Who's wh- who has more wins in their last one game played? Thank you. That's the. Idea. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even. That, was, that. Uh, that was very poorly worded. <laughs> Uh, yeah, uh, anything you want to say to Glenny? There's been a little back and forth between you and Glenny off off screen. Finally, the rivalry. Here we go. Yeah, I'm just I'm just hoping one day he moves out of his mom's basement. That's, <laughs> it's just one day I hope to get a FaceTime where he's in his own place and his high school jerseys aren't hanging in the background. And uh, Ryan Leach jersey. <laughs> well, I respect that one, but what's the one next to it? The Rangers flag. <laughs> <laughs> You right. pay pressure the pressure the balls when he has a hot tub outside and gets a home cooked meal every fucking night. You wish you were the yeah, balls, I'm Yandel. I'm going to Florida yeah. on Wednesday. Like, I'm never here. <laughs> Twenty four questions, twelve rounds of trivia, twenty fifth being the bonus round. Shout out to these guys. We're doing this late. Shout out to everyone here. Ma, shut up. Uh, match uh, yesterday, by the way. No laundry for an hour. <laughs> Unbelievable, by the way. Uh Chicago set the all-time scoring record, 22 points, and they're drubbing of your mom. Your mom 0-7 now. Unbelievable. Um, they are so bad, it's unbelievable. The fact that anyone <laughs> thought that team was good, that first year, everyone's like, oh, this team's good. They're awful. 
<laughs> they won a tournament game last year. So they lost eight in a row since they won a tournament game. Um, 24 costs and 12 rounds of jury, 25th being the bonus round. New Amsterdam Vodka, double sip, one of your three lifelines. Your Stella Blue double up, another one of your lifelines. You can make any question worth two points. And your call a friend. You can pair a call a friend and a double sip together. Remember that. But you can't use this on anything worth two points. So not anything you double, you can't use a lifeline. And the niche category round, round 10, you cannot use a lifeline. Uh, two HBO shows tonight from the niche category round. There's a lot of discussion in the Ice Dogs group chat before the match about uh, the niche here. A lot of pressure on Marty. Um, if I don't get it, it's retired. Here we, we go. go NBA first cap confession, confessions. What? Yeah. Wait, wait. What would you say? Did we end up going with taxi cab confessions for our show? <laughs> oh, what a show. Phenomenal show. You could you pick anything. You could pick, pick some Bravo shows. Here we go. NBA. This is for the Ice Dogs. That's After three awesome. decades in college, John Beeline had a disastrous 54-game run as the head coach of this East team in 2019-2020. 35 seconds for the Ice Dogs. Is that the Cavs? No clue. When did LeBron win it? Yeah, 2020 would be COVID. He was with. That's literally the only team in my head. So. Yeah, I, I like that. Cavs or Orlando? I also just don't care about NBA coaches at all. Yeah. Go, let's do Cavs. Do Cavs. Cavs, final answer. <laughs> let's go, baby. One nothing. Come on. This is for Uptown Balls. Following his tenure with the Pistons, Stan Van Gundy only lasted one Rockets, season as right? the head coach of his West team in 2020-2021. I was thinking Rockets, too. Or are we just Jeff Van Gundy? Jeff Van Gundy coached the Rockets. Maybe, was he ever the coach of the Suns? They were good. They went to the finals that year. How about we get a guy no one's ever heard of and they get Stan Van Gundy? <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> ridiculous. Bayline was the Michigan coach. I mean, Rocket, Rockets came to Rockets, mind. Yeah. But, but you're right. You're right with I Jeff Van Gundy. I think he coached there too. <laughs> Would that have been a bigger story? Too I don't think so. Like, Houston Rockets, final answer. Go Rockets. Other side. Clippers? I don't know. No. Kings I think it maybe? might be the Suns. Suns? No. No. Who'd you say? I said Kings. Five. What do you think? Say something. Which one? Kings? Kings? Suns. 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 Pelicans. No idea. Celebrity mashup. Do you want a double off Tom Balls? Nope. No double. No? You never know. Well, we always double baseball. Uh, all right. Uh, nine and one in the category this year. Uh, actually, Ice Dogs got their uh, got their second one last time. Here we go. To make it two to nothing. Uh, name the two celebrities mashed up here in this photo. Ice Dogs. Is your girl home, Marty? No, she. Is that Chris? Is that Christian Bell? Sure. Or is that? Am I that dumb? I don't even know who that is, dude. I don't mean Bell either. Is, like, is it Christian Bell? To me. <laughs> is that the Bale outside? And Neil Patrick Harris. Who's that? No, it's not Christian Bale. I don't know. I don't know. I don't. Christian Bell played Batman. Those eyes look familiar. That's what's making me think Christian Bale, but I don't know. Five. Pass. <laughs> it's Neil Patrick Harris and Kit Harrington. Yeah. yeah. Neil Patrick it? Harris and Kit Harrington? Is that what you said, Bulls? Kit Harrington. Yeah. Final answer. Yeah. Wait, there's a woman? That is correct. Neil Patrick Harris, Kit no, Harrington. Jon Snow. Are we gonna are we gonna talk about that I got the outside? You got half, yeah. Well, you got half. You got half. Marty, we didn't get it right, right, Marty. Let's throw a fucking parade. <laughs> we should. That's insane. Fellas. One nothing. Uh, one to one. One to one to make it two to one. Two celebrities on dumb balls. The middle's Tom Hiddleston, Hiddleston or whoever Loki is, right? I, th I should have said that so quick, but I think I might know the outside. I think I have a name in my head. You want to say yours first? Josh Dumel. We won't get it either way. 
I, that's an old. That's an old neck for Fallon. Yeah, that's a gross neck for Fallon. I also think his his hair Andrew is Garfield. Or about Andrew Garfield? Five. I, I said go Jimmy Fallon and uh, I don't think... Jimmy Fallon and no. double dip. Josh Dumont. I'm gonna. Why? No. 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 Marty, is that <laughs> Luke Wilson? Is that Luke Wilson's brother, or Luke Wilson, or one of the Wilsons? Oh, no, it's the guy. Oh, I like Luke Wilson. Hiddle, Jiddleton or something. Yeah, do him and Luke. Wilson. I like Luke Wilson. What? Isn't it's Tommy two Saban people, Marty? Been... Yeah, oh I God. know, but didn't but you're saying that Wilson's the outside? Yeah. Okay, Wilson. Uh, what's his name? Luke Wilson. Luke Wilson, and who's the other guy? You said him, guys. What'd you guys say? Uh, Tom Hiddleston, final answer. It is Tom Hiddleston, but it's Tom Hiddleston and Justin Theroux. Justin Theroux and Tom That's Hiddleston. Hard. Who's the guy? Who's Justin only married Jennifer Anderson. That's a hard one. Jesus Christ. The leftovers guy. All right. Uh, second so is one to one. One to one. Let's go. We're in a good spot. Right, give them NFL next category. NFL. This is for the Ice Dogs. NFL. Come on, Lock DA. in, DA. Lock in. I don't know if I've gotten one of these right. No, you have. <laughs> prior, to, prior to Aaron Jones, the most recent Packer to rush for over 1,000 yards was the second-year running back in 2014. Who's the fat guy? Eddie Lacy? Eddie Lacy. Yeah. It's got to be Eddie yep. Lacy. Has to be, right? I like that. Fuck it. Eddie Lacy, final answer. Two to one. Come on. Oh, I'm going to try ball. Prior to Raheem Mostert, the most recent Dolphin to rush for over 1,000 yards was the second-year running back in 2016. I have a guy. Uh, in mind. Jay Ajahi. Oh, yeah, that's that not sound a, right. Maybe. That does sound right. I had Lamar Miller in mind. Ooh. Uh-oh. Lamar Miller. Sounds Jay, yeah, Jay, 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 but Jay Ajahi went to the Eagles in 2017. So that would fit. Right. So, was that his yeah. third year? Or do we want to double sip? I say we double sip with Lamar. Okay, yeah, let's Lamar double sip it. Real good. Double sip presented by the Amsterdam. Jay Ajahi. Yes. That's early. That's early, fellas. Two to two. All right. All right. That's fine. I haven't that is pretty funny, Miller though, because so Lamar Miller, Miller was an answer yesterday, hard. but you guys wouldn't have watched that, so you would not have known that. Right. It wasn't Good thinking, boys. Good thinking. Match. Um, two to two. Music next category. And I want to double music. Marty? It is tied for your best category with movies. You don't have to double, though. How do you, Keith, yes or no? I think hey. I'm movies. Oh boy! Okay, no. <laughs> okay, here we go. This is for the Ice Dogs. Title is 2012 song. Title of this 2012 song. I'm gonna play it right I, now. I think I. Of course. Play it again. Yeah, play it again, yep. please. Oh, yeah. I got nothing. Jeff, we got to put some country songs in there, man. Come on. <laughs> play it again. No to critique. No to critique. Again, Jeff. Yep. I think I'll be there for you. One more time. Yep. Last play. I'll be there for you, final answer. Like, hi, maybe? I think it's by Andy Grammer. I don't know the name of the actual song. I just know that. Oh, yeah. I like hi. Let's do it. Hi, final answer. It's drive by by train by train. <laughs> you I mean you both were sing. You both had like the melody. Yeah, yeah. I know the song. I just I know the song. Yeah. Train has the song. so. Other side songs. to make it. Yeah, I no longer see the screen. Is that okay? Yeah, no. For some reason, this program now you can no longer share the screen and play a song at the same time. 
absurd. The worst program in history. Here we go. All right, to make it three to two, other side. Title. What year? 2010 song, Title. I'm addicted and I just can't get enough. Just can't get enough. I think it's just can't get enough. Let's just that. can't get enough. I just can't get Let enough. Okay, are we saying just can't get enough? Yeah. Or are we saying enough or something? I don't know if Marty's trying to fake us out right now. Let it <laughs> just can't get enough. Or boy, I, or think it's about... I mean, that's definitely the yeah. next words. I'm addicted and I just can't get enough. Yep. Rip it. I think Marty's yeah, I think trying so to take so. us out on a Just can't get enough. Final answer. <laughs> Three, two. Idiot. Lead for yeah, a ball for one point. Lead. Lifelines remain all of them for the Ice Dogs. Call a friend and double up remain for Uptown Balls. Next category is Major League <laughs> Always double baseball. So we'll always double baseball. That's the Black Eyed Peas. Oh, I got a call for this one. Doubled up baseball for Uptown Balls presented by Stella Blue. This is for one point for the Ice Dogs. After his Reds tenure and a brief Diamondbacks run, Adam Dunn had 35-plus home runs in both seasons he played for this NL team from 2009 through 2010. His Reds tenure and brief Diamondbacks run. I don't even know who he is. I know him. I know him for the Reds. All seasons he played with NL. Um... We gotta. They're definitely gonna get this, so we need to. We want to phone a friend. Yeah, let me call. I'm gonna call Clemmer. They're gonna call Chris Clemmer of the Big Scream and Honkers team that's probably gonna play next week, trying to get off the schneid. They've, they've had a, a tough couple weeks. Clemmer. After his Reds tenure and a brief Diamondbacks run, Adam Dunn hit 35 home plus home runs in both seasons. He played for this NL team from 2009 to 2010. Uh, he said, you said Reds and who? Reds and Diamondbacks. It might be the Nationals. You put it the White Sox as well. It's not obviously a AO. I, I would guess Nationals. I'm like 75 percent sure. Okay, no other guess besides Nationals. That's the best one I have. All Washington right. Nationals. Nationals, final answer. Tie back up three to three. Oh, boy, Let's go, baby. Good job. Let's go. Good job. You alien. <laughs> Wait till you see him coach. He's fucking he's insane. Um yeah, Marty and Tommy just fresh off their basketball game tonight. Uh oh, he's more to come on man. that. Uh to make it four to th- uh, to make it five to three. Keep in mind Ice Dogs have not used their double yet. After his Twins tenure and a brief Pirate throw, Justin Morneau batted 310 Rockies, in both yeah. seasons he played with this NL team from 2014. Colorado Rockies, final answer. That is correct, 5-3. to three. You left ball, the call question. friend left. Ice Dogs, you have your double sit percent by no answer and vodka, and your double up. Movies next category, movies. Do we think he's going to give us NHL because Glenn's here? I think I he like might. That. You want to do movies, Keith? Sure. Double. Doubled up movies. This is for the Ice Dogs. Doubled up. It's presented by Stella Blue. With a 37% Rotten Tomato score, Seth Rogen and Barbara Streisand play Mother and Son in this 2012 road comedy film. Keith, this is right up your alley, dude. I'm not a Streisand guy. <laughs> this was the head. Oh, they are one in movies. They are. They have been really good in movies. I also just like pretended to think for like five seconds. Yeah, I have no <laughs> idea. I'm not even pretending to think. <laughs> yeah, I, I got no like a idea. shitty car in there. Two, one. Other side, big steel potential. What's Seth Rogen movie in 2012? Like the, the, only, the only Streisand movie I know from the last like twenty years is Meet the Fockers. Uh, maybe like Cross Country, something like that. Yeah, I have no idea. Cross Country was that Britney Spears' movie? Was that Crossroads? I have no idea. <laughs> Crossroads, great, great movie. Yeah, Cross Country. Final answer. 
The Guilt Trip. The Guilt uh, Trip. Oh. I, never even I think heard I did watch that one time like five years ago. I thought they might know that. Here we go, other side to make it six to three going into the bonus round. You didn't get your double, but it wasn't stolen. Here we go. With a 14% Rotten Tomato score, Jack Black and Michael Cera played cavemen in this 2009 adventure comedy film. Can we have a little respect for the game, Glenn, and let him finish the question? Sorry. Hey, uh, directed by Harold Ramis, right, Jeff? Year one. Final answer. We're only that is correct. The title, title, three. Not the director. It's good. He's a good man. Rest in peace. Um, Caddyshack, Tommy. Come on. Here we go. Time to make the donuts. Bonus, bonus round time presented by New Amsterdam Vodka. Sharpen those NFL pencils. It's NFL time. Do we need a pen and paper? <laughs> no, I don't know why I said it like that. Uh, no pen and paper needed. Standard bonus round. Here's how it works. There's we 30 things on the, the last bonus round. 30 things. That's true. You guys put up statistically the worst bonus round ever. Last match. Yeah. Uh, you're going to have 30 things on a list. I'll read you the question. Ice dogs, you'll go first. You'll read me something from a list. Uh, you'll try to get something on the list. If you get it right, we move on. Up to balls, you guess. Whoever has the most things correct from the list after five rounds wins the bonus round. If nobody has won after five rounds, we go to sudden death back and forth. You got about 10 ish seconds per guess. Let's raise our hands. So we only no, get one don't answer. Say anything. Yeah, don't say yep, anything. Only one answer. Marty's final answer person, Smitty's final answer person. Yeah, okay. raise your hand if you have one. Name the last. Uh, hold on. That's Definitely a- not the question. One we broke. We can do it, though. Name the 30 worst passer rating seasons in the NFL since the year 2010. The 30 so worst the seasons court. passer rating since 2010. Minimum nine starts. Oh, If they show up on the list, they only show up one time. Huh. Here we go. Well, Timer begins. The quarterback's name, yeah. Yeah, if you're, you're listing quarterback. Timer begins now. Um, do you guys have one? Keith, what? Mac Jones got to be one this year, no? Four. Uh, Mac Jones, final answer. Zach Wilson, right? I have one. Yeah. Right. Zach Wilson, final answer. One to nothing. Kenny Pickett has to be one, right? Kenny Pickett, final answer. We got balls. Holy shit. What about like Brock Osweiler? Uh, I thought he was like sneaky better than four. I was thinking Mark Sanchez. Brock Osweiler. Two. Oh, balls. Nice. With that, uh, Nathan Peterman. Did he start nine games? He's been in the sure. Say it. Nathan Peterman, final answer. Yeah, we just need Browns oh, quarterbacks. Like Johnny Manziel has to be one, right? Or I don't know if he had nine games. Nine. What about like a uh, Derek Anderson or some shit? That was a yeah. question. Four. Johnny Manziel. Three. Still alive, Ice Dogs. Uh, um, Sam Darnold. Yeah. Five. Sam Donald, final answer. That's on there. You're still alive. Uh, Holy shit. What about like, what about like Geno Smith on the Jets? I like that. I, what about Mark? I go I go Geno over Mark. Geno Smith. Right. That's on there. Oh, they win the bonus round. Every name you named except for the one you guessed was on there. Tiny Mansa. Uh, here's the full list right here. Jimmy Clausen, Deshaun Kaiser, Mark Sanchez on there. A lot of Jets on here. Christian Ponder, Trevor Lawrence, Rex Roseman, Flacco, Tebow, Fields, Hasselback, Whedon. We were thinking way too bad at quarterbacks. Brandon, I mean, if they would have just taken one of our guesses we threw out. Peyton Manning? Wow. And Von Miller won that Super Bowl. Uh, eight to three. Actually, is Peyton Manning might be the yeah. year they won the Super Bowl. Yeah, he was so, terrible. Yeah, so Brock, bad, Brock Osweiler right? should have started over. <laughs> yeah, it is confirmed. It is his Super Bowl team. That is crazy. Um, here we go. Eight to three, five point lead. It's not good, uh, fellas. 
Okay. Double sip on yes. the board for the Ice Dogs. Up the balls, you recall, friend. Remind their points scored going to be a huge tiebreaker in terms of who makes a tournament. Just keep that in mind. Match far from over, but it's worth noting. NHL next category. Let's do it. Fuck. NHL next category. Here we go. This is for the Ice Dogs to make it 8-4. to four, To make it 8-4. to four. Jeff Skinner is the only player to win the Calder Trophy for this Eastern Conference team. Carolina Hurricanes. Final answer. Eight to four. That, a boy, Keith. that was so confident. God, I love that. Make it nine to four. Need a steal here, Glenn E. Piece of Tyler Myers shit. is the only player since the 1980s to win Buffalo the Calder Trophy for this Eastern Conference. Buffalo Sabres. 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 That is correct. <laughs> nine nice. to four. There's a lot of respect in this game for the host. A lot of no, points still. A lot of points. Yeah, people PB do get annoyed at that. We don't wait. We 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 gotta we gotta be better. Yeah, let the people read the question for the it's for the, it's a sh- audience show. Balls. I'm still just don't understand because he's, he's MVP he's, balls. He's That's why. Yeah, he's, he's the MVP. He's the MVP right now. It's true. Glenny would be the first ever non Kirk Minahan MVP. Keep that in mind. The balls is extra literate this year. TV after debuting on Fox in 2005, this adult animated sitcom moved to TBS in 2014, where it's still currently running. This is for the Ice Dogs. That sounds like five. American Dad. One Sticking of the worst. out of Bob's Burgers. I just know adult animated is American Dad. It's one of the worst shows I've ever watched. What about Bob's Burgers? I don't know. You now you tell me. I don't Should know. We what that double is. sip. Sure. Double sip. What the fuck is Bob's Burgers? You want some trash, you know that? Do you want a double sip? Yeah, double sip. Double sip presented by New Amsterdam Vodka. I need your first guess in five. Uh, Bob's Burgers. <laughs> Ten seconds. Ten seconds. I mean, we only got the other one. American Dad, final answer. Nine to five. That's correct. It is such a bad show. <laughs> it's such a bad show. It just must be where Seth MacFarlane puts his worst jokes. Yeah. It just comes on <laughs> after, like, football games sometimes, and it's, like, the worst thing. It's like, he makes it's American just... Dad, too. Yeah. And the yeah, Cleveland yeah. show. I'm almost yeah. embarrassed I knew it. To make it ten, to make it ten to f- – there's an American Dad fan watching the show just cursing. Just be- I don't <laughs> think there is. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> This adult animated sitcom debuted on FX in 2009, moved to FXX Heavy, uh, in 2016, and in December 2023, it aired its Archer, right? Art? I think Archer? so. That's yeah. Archer. Archer. Final answer. That's correct. 10 to 5. Up down balls. Cruising. Five point lead, so a lot of points left. College hoops next category. Not good. This is four. This is four. The Ice Dogs. This Big Ten eight seed upset reigning champion Villanova in the 2017 round of 32 before losing to Florida in the Sweet 16. Was it? Thinking them are like Minnesota. I thought I heard something. Hasn't Indiana hasn't made the tournament in a while, though, right? Or no, it could be 100% wrong. I have no idea. They kind of do suck lately. Michigan State? I don't hate Minnesota because I think uh, Richard Patino won a game. They're always like you an answer in. Let's Minnesota. go Minnesota, final answer. Wisconsin. I don't hate Michigan Wisconsin. State. It's no, Wisconsin. It's Wisconsin. I'm, I'm, a thousand, I'm a thousand percent sure. All right. Uh, Wisconsin, Wisconsin, Wisconsin. Eleven to five, up Tom balls up by six now. To make Cousin Mark's wedding that night of the Wisconsin Florida game. There you go. That. Just it's just like this. Well, it's SEC seven seed upset reigning champion UNC in the twenty eighteen round of thirty two before losing to Michigan in the Sweet Sixteen. It's not fair when you play against autism. Um, the, the uh, Wisconsin. I have- Florida I, game. We can call. We call somebody too. I so I have A and M in mind. Um, let me think. Who else? Name some Tennessee, schools. Florida, Tennessee, New Mexico, Nevada, 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 Georgia, UCLA. I think South Carolina. I I, 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 I think A and M was good around then. Don't sleep on. Do you want to call anybody? It's up to you. Five. You want to call? Uh, my, I mean, Texas A&M. Final answer. 
That is correct. What 12 to 5. Yeah. Seven point lead now slipping away. Niche category time. Curb your enthusiasm for the Ice Dogs. Entourage. Corrupt oh. Dumballs. Here we go, Marty. Come on, let's get one here. Big fellas. spot for Marty. He can never do this again if he misses this, they said. If it's a name, In the though, season three episode, sure. Corpse Sniffing Dog. Larry and Ted agree what, that what bathroom-related addition should be made to the restaurant? Bathroom-related? Uh, I don't know. Up a day? <laughs> up a day? Oh, up a day? no. I don't know. it. I know everything. He wanted bells on the tables. He wanted <laughs> Oh, no. Up a day? Marty, no, think of something a for a dog. Think of something for a dog in a bathroom. No, it's not the dog. The dog smelt a dead thing. It wasn't there. I know the whole episode. Um, what about poopery? That stuff you spray in the toilet for when you poop. And his other one, he wants only... Like, no one could take a shit in his place. Only urinals? Yeah, but that's definitely not it. That's in season, like, nine. That's season five. Heated toilet seat. Four. Three. Two. Yay, final answer. That is the win for Uptown Balls. Any idea, Uptown Balls? Maybe the, maybe the doors going to the bottom of the floor. I don't know. I was thinking urinal. Yeah, I don't Marty know. said it's not right. I don't hate that balls. Doors are going to the bottom of the floor. Final answer. Ah. <laughs> oh. Urinal splash guards. Uh, they don't want. He don't want the pee splashing on. He doesn't want to see people's dicks. I li- yeah. Fuck. Win for uptown balls. Make it fourteen to five. Got to rip through the points. Points very important for playoff seating here. In the season two premiere of Entourage, to save money on new headshots, where does Turtle take? Oh on? goodness. <laughs> goodness, Glenny. You know that's still a fucking layup for you. What do you want from me? What is the answer? Yours, yours. I mean, yours is the pivotal part of the show. I watched the episode today. Well, did you guess? Yeah, the Apple Store. Apple Store. Final answer. You're gonna rewatch that episode, Marty. You're gonna be bummed out. You're gonna be no, disappointed. I, 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 it's my favorite episode, actually. That's it's the, such yeah. a Larry. It's such a Larry and Ted moment. A great, uh, geography a great next category. Headshot thing geography. in that show. I'm pretty sure later on, like, a couple seasons later, they show drama headshots that still has the Apple logo on it. Name this U.S. Oh. state based on the first letters of its four most populated cities. For the Ice Dogs. Fellas, this is crazy. Uh, what? Most populated? What's the most populated city of a state that has a P, a T? Are these? Are these? Are these Arizona. in most populated? Jeff. Four most populated, the first letter of each city name. But is P the first letter? Or is P the first city that's most? Or most yes, it, it's whatever? ranked. It, it, it's, it is in order. That's a good question. Arizona? Arizona? Phoenix, Tucson. Phoenix, Tucson. Um, Five. Go Arizona. Arizona, final answer. <laughs> Fourteen to six. I like this. Oh, boy, Keith. Name this U.S. state based on the first letters of its four most populated cities. N-B-S-M. Tennessee, Nashville. No, it's Memphis. Yeah. Memphis would be higher, right? Or Knoxville. Too. Uh, New York. New York, Brooklyn. No. Staten Island, Manhattan. Does that work? <laughs> Five, four, worth three. a shot. I don't yeah. know. What that New York, final answer. That's what I would have thought too. Um, Let's make it fourteen seconds. Right, Staten Island's not more populated than Manhattan, so the only thing I got for a B is Maryland. Maryland. Oh wait, I know it. What is it? What is it? Oh. Just give it to uh, us. You want us in the playoffs? Give it to us. Sportsmanship. <laughs> you know what, Take it's, it's it's Louisiana. No, look at that. Louisiana. Look at that. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Oh, guys. Uh-oh. Wow. Get us in the playoffs. Money for his point total, though. <laughs> you still count that for his points total. I, wow, that might be. Could that be a Glenny Ball Sportsman of the Year nomination? Yeah, that could get us into the playoffs right there, Ballsy. Remember Lady that point. Balls. 
That didn't take uh, much to get out of him either. Snacks and candy. Oh, no, this yeah. is a fun game. It's all class. Snacks and candy all for class, the ice dog. <laughs> That's rich has been a long time slogan used by what chocolate bar brand? Not a butter. That's not Hershey's Crunch, right? Uh, payday? Nab- Nabisco? No, it's, a, it's, it's Payday? You look, no, it's the Payday. But yeah, you seem pretty. You seem to like you light up at a payday. I mean, payday is one of my favorite candies, and it's called payday or a hundred grand. Hundred, yeah. Payday doesn't have chocolate. Five. Yeah, I like hundred grand. Final answer. Great deductive Under-rated. reasoning there. Fourteen to eight. Bro, we need to Under-rated, make some candy. Halloween. We're gonna have to. We're gonna have to talk about this score in a second and what was the difference between eight and ten. I hope Hunter Grand sends me a, some candy. Yeah, there, yeah, did you up the ball? He, he answered an M M&M and M question like a couple weeks ago, and they sent him like a pound, like a like ten pounds M and M's. Give me an M M&M and M question. Give me, give, right, give, right. Get, get Gwenny Balls the new MacBook after the Apple Store question. <laughs> yeah, get me a new iPad. Um, here we go. Last category, last question, last question of the last category. The Fresh Maker was a long Mint time ago used by what gum or mint brand? Cool. Yeah, this team. Um, you know, uh, you know, men, men, Mentos, the Fresh Baker. Final answer. They're locked back in, fifteen to eight. And Obviously, a couple misses stink. from the ice dogs. Up down balls were very. That was a, a fifteen to eight. Is not a boat. That race. is a boat race. We gave Dig you a him. point. No, it's not a seven. <laughs> it's not a boat race. And listen, That's I an play for the fans. Fight. Uptown Balls plays for themselves. You know, the whole... It's, we literally gave you a point, and we have our phone a friend still. We gave you a point, you scumbag. The fans at home, the fans at home are like, oh, I can't play the tribute. It doesn't matter. Uptown Balls is playing. Can we take that point away from them? <laughs> no, Glenn's all class. <laughs> we got to talk about... Before we get to Ice Dogs, I got to talk about this niche thing. The, the Glenn VP candidacy needs to be taken uh, very seriously now. I hope. MVP. The honey balls is gunning to become the first non Kirk MVP of this show, and it's it's you know you know why I really wanted to want to win this MVP, and I haven't said this. People think I'm so fucking stupid, and I'm not book smart. But <laughs> hey, I'm join the club, smart. brother. But I'm street smart, and I want to be the MVP for that reason. He'd only be the second person with an MVP and a title. All right, up there, oh, you can start Glennie. talking about goat status with Glenny. Um, reminder: vote for the All Star Game. Ice Dogs, Yandel, are you stripping away curb your enthusiasm? Yeah, it's done. Yeah, we're done with it. <laughs> I don't even know if he's ever seen it. <laughs> you literally said that was your favorite episode. It, it's one of my favorite episodes, but it's the other stuff that makes me laugh, not the splash cards. <laughs> I remember it now. Yeah, listen. Do yeah, show, uh, we'll do we'll do a collaborative niche next game. Uh, the next time you play, you're going to play the Booze Ponies. That is going to happen. Everyone's been asked for the Booze Ponies versus the Ice Dogs. Yeah, and they're morons. Maybe not next week. I don't know if we're going to do three weeks in a row with you guys, but definitely in the next couple weeks, uh, we will set that up. Uh, also, we have an uh, announcement for the All-Star Week, which I don't know when that is yet. We have a lot of events coming up at Barstool, and we got to time it right. There will be the All-Star Game. Booze Ponies are going to play the fan team this year. Upton Balls played the fan team last year. Uh, there's going to be one that I don't want to say yet. KB is going to be playing somebody, and the person he's playing will have an opportunity to Google all of the answers. Um, and we'll see if that can beat KB. We'll see. But the fourth one is, it's going to be an all 80s and 90s matchup. Brandon and Kirk against Clemmer and Frank. Uh, that's that's one that, that we got everyone to agree to, so we're going to be doing that as well. Uh, thank you for watching. Sunday, probably around like noon, 1 o'clock in the afternoon, the 400th match of the dozen. Smockin'. Mincy, Titus, and Kendrick against the original team. Uh, Brandon, PFT, and Fran. They're looking up to stop a two-match losing streak. Uh, that's it. Thank you for watching. Thank you to Nathan Vaca and Sarah Blue. We'll talk to you next time.